Hello guys, so you wanna know what Keybinds professional Tarkov streamers use to get that extra advantage? Well, you have come to the right place. I would start with some quality of life Keybinds which will make your Tarkov journey simpler, especially when you come from other popular FPS games. And in the later part of the video, we'll discuss some Keybinds which will give you that extra competitive edge. Also a little heads up, we're gonna be changing a lot of Keybinds because the default Keybinds are really messed up. And it might take a while to get used to the new ones, but in the long run, you're gonna love it. So let's begin. The first one we are gonna look at is Smooth Lean. If you're not already using these in your raids, then you're missing out on a lot. That said, the issue here is that by default, it is set to A and D, which are your strafe keys. So we'll go ahead and change that to Alt plus E and Alt plus Q. This opens up movement which was earlier restricted. The next one is gonna be prone key. Now if you're coming from other popular game titles, then you're used to having Z as prone. So we are going to set Z as our prone key. Now dropping backpack used to be at double press Z. So this adds a delay of 300 millisecond when you prone, which is not a good thing. So we are gonna change drop backpack key to M, which is currently not being used. The next one is examine weapon and the default key point for this is L. Now I feel more comfortable with J, which is closer and also because of the muscle memory from other popular game titles. So we are gonna shift this to J. Now many of you might face this issue a lot. We have to look at our keyboards in case we have a gun malfunction. In this case, first you have to inspect your weapon and then you have to fix your malfunction. An easy trick is to set your inspect as J and set your fix malfunction as Alt plus J, which is a lot easier to remember and accessible as compared to pressing L and then Shift plus T. Another quality of life keybind. It would be really nice that whenever you have to check time, you also get information about extracts and you don't have to press O twice. So what you can do is set check time and exit to O press and leave check time as not set. Discard by default is delete key, but reaching delete key is a hassle and sometimes you don't have enough time when you're looting. So setting this at your mouse thumb button can be really convenient. The next important one is switch fire mode. By default, it is B. But since double press B is set fire mode to full auto, it takes a 300 millisecond delay for you to change fire mode. It is better to set fire mode to full auto as not set so that B becomes more responsive and faster. Okay guys, this is where things start getting serious and you can see an impact on your game. The first and very important one is your aim. Most of the professional and esports players set their aim at continuous because it enables them to be faster. Now if you do that, then you have an issue. That is with chain scope magnification and switch between side. So we will set chain scope magnification to X key and switch between side to Alt plus X key. This is a lot better than pressing Alt plus right mouse button or CTRL plus right mouse button. This next keybind is a bit tricky and that is the hold breath keybind. Most of the players prefer the hold breath on shift as it is an old habit. Also when you're sprinting, you're not holding breath. So you can set both of them to shift if you set sprint keybind as shift continuous and hold breath keybind as shift press. Now if you're still someone who prefers aim on toggle, then there is a sweet trick that many streamers use. And that is to also set your hold breath at right mouse button but on release. So whenever you ADS, your character will also hold breath for a steady shot. In this case, you should also set another keybind if you want to stop the hold breath so that your character does not run out of stamina. You can use one of the mouse thumb button for this or the X key which is free. The next important keybind is scope zeroing. The default keybinds are not convenient at all and are very slow. So what you can do is set scope zeroing to Alt plus mouse wheel so you can do it faster while you're scoping in. Also changing this keybind helped me a lot with my long range sniping especially when I was using a rangefinder on my scope. Let's talk about reload. The emergency reload keybind by default is set to R double press, which has a problem. That is the 300 millisecond wait time when you do a normal reload. To fix this, we'll set the emergency reload to Alt plus R. Make sure you don't set this to Shift plus R because a lot of times you'll be running and reloading and you don't want to drop your mag when you do that. This next keybind has become a lot popular among pro players. That is the double bind healing. And the reason that they do this is because Heavy Bleed has a priority over HP healing. So what professional players do is they set their Heavy Bleed heal at 4 press 
and then they set their HP heal at 4 release. This way, when you have a heavy bleed, it will be fixed first and then if you press the same key again, your HP will heal. Also in your inventory, you have to set it such that you start pressing 4 from your heavy bleed item and then you stop it on your HP heal item. It also rules out the possibility of you healing heavy bleed with your saliva by mistake and wasting time in that crucial gunfight. Now the last keybind I want to talk about is blind fire. By default, Alt plus W and Alt plus S are so messed up that no one uses it. But in case you want to use this, then having some convenient keybind would be so nice. So the right side blind fire is somewhat similar to your right peak. Hence having this set at CTRL plus E makes a lot of sense and would be convenient at the same time. Also, we can set CTRL plus Q as our overhead blind fire. With this, I declare you all to be ready for talk of PvP. I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was, do drop a like for the algorithm and if you have any questions, you can reach down in the comment section. If you are into Tarkov and want to stay updated, then also do consider subscribing to the channel. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next one. Hey, sweetie, baby.